Welcome back to the Nintendo Wiretap for Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. On today's episode, we are talking about two games, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which got a shiny new release date, and Sonic Origins, the game that we've heard rumors of coming forever, is now officially coming out. So without further ado, let's take a look. Alright, first up, let's talk Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and why this is surprising. So we knew this game was coming out this year, and in this landscape of COVID and games getting delayed left and right, we always kind of expected that we would see more games from Nintendo get pushed back. But in this case, it was quite the opposite. Originally slated for a September 2022 release, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is now coming out in just a few months on July 29th. And on top of that, a shiny new special edition is also coming out too. So, what to know about this? Number one, there's a brand new trailer with a bunch of new artwork, new music, lots of good stuff. You can find that in the description down below if you want to check it out. Number two is the amazing special edition. Now this one, for whatever reason, is a My Nintendo exclusive. So there's I think some good things about this and bad things. Number one, you are extremely limited on how you can order this, but number two, Nintendo typically limits my Nintendo accounts to a certain number of orders before it cuts them off. So this should severely hurt scalpers who are trying to pick up loads of these things and offload them. So if you're looking to pick one up, make sure to check out the My Nintendo store, link down below. It's not up for pre-order quite yet, but stay tuned. It comes with a copy of the game, a big old box, an art book, and most importantly, at least for me, a brand new steelbook. I love Nintendo steelbooks, I wish every single game had a steelbook, but this one's pretty darn nice too. So, the other question is this. Now, it was initially supposed to be coming out in September, that's typically close to the holiday season of 2022. Why was it pushed forward? Now, we know there's a Pokemon game coming out, a brand new generation of Pokemon coming out at the end of this year, and we also know that Breath of the Wild 2 has been postponed to sometime in 2023. So that's leading me to believe that Nintendo is trying to clear up its holiday season for something brand new. Maybe it's a new game, maybe it's a new IP, maybe it's a re-release of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess like I've been dying for. But either way, I feel like the moving of this game is likely having to do with Nintendo announcing something around the time of E3 and releasing it this holiday season. That's just my guess. I'm hoping I'm right, but who knows. But if you're a Xenoblade fan and you are looking forward to this one, you have little time to wait. If you want to pre-order this game, not the special edition, we have links in the description down below where you can pick this up. Otherwise, stay tuned to Nintendo Wire on Twitter. We'll let you know the moment these special editions go up for sale, so stay tuned. Alright, next up, I want to talk a bit about Sonic Origins. Now, this was something that has been rumored for some time now, and now it is officially here. It is coming out on June 23rd, and it comes with Sonic 1, 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. Sonic CD also happens to be one of my favorite Sonic games ever, and almost never gets any love, so I'm excited Sonic Origins is bringing that one back from the dead. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind with this release. Number one, these are not just ports of ROMs or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. These are completely remastered. You have the widescreen versions, it's in high definition, and it looks pretty darn gorgeous. And if you want to play the classic mode, you can do that too, so you can switch back and forth between which one you like more. Now, yes, I know, Sonic has been re-released about 500 times on every single platform you can imagine, including the original iPod, yes, the one that had the little scrolly wheel, Sonic was on that too. So there's not a whole lot that some people might get excited for in this, but still, these are gorgeous games, they're a big part of my childhood, I'm excited to pick them up. Now the weird thing about this is how you can order this. So there's multiple different packages that you can get, there's a digital version, there is a digital deluxe version that comes with even more stuff. It's 
awkward and odd, and for games like Sonic, you should just release one package and give everybody everything for a low price. So I'm kind of surprised that Sega is nickeling and diming people for nearly $50 for games that are extremely old and have been re-released a hundred times over. But still, if you're a Sonic fan and you want to pick up HD remasters of some of your favorite games, this is a good way to do it. If you want to read everything about this release, check out the description below. We have a full write-up with all of the pre-order links, images, and of course, that shiny brand new trailer if you want to check that out. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you next time with yet another episode, but as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. <laughs>